Hey everyone, it's Elise. Um, I am here today to do the clothespin puppet workshop with you. Um, here is an example of the kind of thing we'll be making. Um, I was kind of inspired to do this because I don't know about you, but when I was a kid, I used to like pretend that these were little monsters and they could talk and sometimes I would give them like funny voices and everything and it would be a blast. So I figured because this is kind of like a simple mechanism that a lot of people have lying around their houses, we can make a puppet out of it. So basically all I did was, um, I'm just, we're just going to be sticking, uh, basically like a head and a body onto this and we're going to make it talk and the, it's great because you can also hold it from back here so you can kind of make it walk do whatever you want so we're going to be doing this today um these puppets are fun so i'm excited to be here with you um the materials you're going to need are some random cardboard you have lying around this is like a weird pencil box i just ripped open um you're going to need some markers or paint i'm just going to use markers because I don't, know, I don't have time to wait for paint to dry. You're gonna need some pipe cleaners just for the limbs, unless you don't have them, because then you can just use um, more cardboard. But I personally like being able to, you know, like pose them as such. So I like to use pipe cleaners. Um, I did use yarn here, but you don't need to necessarily have yarn for hair. And then of course we're gonna need hot glue. So this is, unfortunately, like I would recommend this um, workshop to be for ages four plus, as long as you know the adult is doing the hot gluing here. It doesn't take very long. So yeah, let's get started. Um, all you're gonna need is a piece of cardboard and we're just gonna start out by, you know, drawing our face, cutting it out. Um, I don't know if you can tell, I tried to make this puppet look like me a little bit with like the heart-shaped face and the brown hair and such. Um, so I don't know, that was kind of my inspiration for this. Uh, what I'm gonna be doing today is one of my friends told me that she used to glue mustaches to these um, and then give it like, you know, like a very proper um, voice. So I'm gonna be making something along those lines today. Definitely gonna to have a mustache in there, like a big handlebar mustache. So start thinking about your character. What do you wanna make? Um, I don't know. So I'm thinking that if, I'm almost picturing like the, the peanut head guy from, I don't I don't remember what his name is, but um, I kind of like that shape, so I'm just gonna sketch that out on my piece of cardboard. I'm gonna angle this down so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. Not that I think you need to watch me draw, but you never know. Um, so I'm not I'm not even getting to. I can always like go back in and trim it later if I'm not a huge fan of what I've just drawn. I feel like this looks a little bit small, so I'm gonna make it even bigger. Now I have to erase what I've just done. Go me. Ah. Mr. Peanut. Yeah, okay, that's what his name is. That's what somebody just commented. Um, yeah, so I'm making like a Mr. Peanut figure almost. All right, so I've made this like weird, weird little shape that I, I think I'm, I'm satisfied with. So I'm just gonna go with that. And we're gonna cut that shape out. And when you're doing this, um, you can, if like you wanted to have your puppet have hair or something and you wanted to include that into the cardboard, you can always draw that as part of it. Um, I think I might go back and add like a hat instead of some hair this time. So I might, I'm gonna leave some spare cardboard for that. Try not to rip the cardboard. There we go. This technique kind of reminds me of what I came up with for um, the wrist puppet workshop with like, you know, we're using bits of cardboard as the head and everything, but there are a bunch of different puppets because you can make them talk and stuff. So, um, I don't know, there's that. All right, so now I have my weird little shape, right? Um, so as you noticed on this head, there's like a line that, you know, it's not connected at all. So the head is actually two different pieces um, and you attach them to both top and bottom of the clothespin. So um, what we're gonna do at this point is we're gonna cut our head in half. Ah, scary sounding, right? Um, so just kind of decide where you want that to go. Um, I, would, I mean, you can draw on the mouth before you cut it, but I found that it's easier to like, or at least make the line first um, and cut it so you know. Um, you can even, I'm probably doing this prematurely, but it's okay. Um, I like to work with what I got. I want him to have like a small jaw. 
So I'm going to do that. There we go. So there we go. So you can already kind of see it's talking a little bit. Um, so now also you don't necessarily have to cut in a straight line, right? Um, I did this just because you can't really give it like too much of a, a crazy appearance because um, you know you are cutting all the way across. But if you wanted to maybe make your character smile, as long as you leave room for that tip of the clothespin to connect to the um, to the cardboard without showing through, you can do whatever fun shape you want. Um, and also just try to make sure the the cardboard connects to each other at the end because you don't want some like awkward gaps. So um, I don't know if you were going to cut like a smile, you might cut you know like a little U shape or something. I don't know. It's up to you. You may I don't know. You could do an upside down U for if you were making a frowny face or something. It's really up to you. Um, and because I said I was gonna do a mustache for my friend, I'm gonna cut out a little mustache. Um, and that's another thing, you can always add like something on top of it. Um, so like the mustache is a perfect example actually of something that can kind of like drape over this. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna draw that mustache really fast. How do you draw a mustache? Why am I spacing out? There we go. I'm actually going to color that in too because it's always easier to um, color tiny things onto what you're doing before you cut them out. So I'm just using black. I feel bad. I'm not asking you guys for suggestions. Maybe I'll... I'll let you decide in what clothes he's wearing. How about that? And the color of his hat. Start thinking about <laughs> what color schemes we might want going on here. I just really did promise my friend that I'd do a mustache for this workshop. I'm gonna cut it out first so I can get a more fine cut here. You can do this right now too. Um, start cutting out maybe like if you wanted a hat of some sort. Um, maybe if you wanted like eyelashes to go off the sides of the head, whatever you really want. Get creative here. This also doesn't even have to be your only puppet unless you only have one clothespin. Um, the cool thing about this is I feel like if you have one clothespin lying around your house, you most likely have multiples. So um, you could make like a bunch of puppets and then have like a whole cast of characters for a show. And then it would like seriously only take you a few minutes, which would be awesome. Oh my gosh, I'm having such a hard time cutting out this mustache. It's because it's so tiny and I have big scissors. Maybe I'm just bad at cutting things out. Am I even a real puppeteer if I can't cut out little things? All right, that's gonna have to be good enough. Do you like it? You can't, I can't really. Oh, okay, well, sorry, I'm just making myself laugh. Um, so I'm gonna put this aside, this little mustache aside. I could so easily lose that, so I'm gonna place it where I'm not gonna lose it. Um, and I'm gonna draw on the rest of the face now. So, um, oh wait, I lied. Before I do that, I'm just gonna cut out a hat really fast. I want a big top hat, right? Um, I'm just going to trace that really fast. There we go. You can see that I made a little hat. I'm going to cut that out really fast. This is way easier because it doesn't have that organic shape to it. If you are making this with me, by the way, please drop in the comments what kind of character you're making right now. I'll read it out loud. I'll give you some momentary fame. All right, so I have my, my little hat, right? All right, and now I'm going to glue things on. So I'm going to take my hot glue. Again, if you are a, a young one doing this, I would recommend having a parent here for that. 
And you do not need a lot of this. You just need a teeny tiny glob. Or not, this is not like a crazy hot glue project that we're doing. And you just stick it on there. I'm gonna put my mustache on too. It's kind of important to remember um, what kind of project you're actually going for because um, I don't know, say like the mustache was supposed to go on top of something pre-drawn, you probably want to draw it before. But I think I'm safe with this. So I'm just gonna replace that right there. That looks funny, right? I like that. This is, this is a good look already. Not to, to compliment myself, but you know what I'm saying. Um, all right. Now it's time for my favorite part. I want to know what, all right, so what color should I make the hat? I'm going to ask you guys and leave that up to you. Um, I love asking people what I should do because I don't know, it gets you, gets you more interested in what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to dump out my colors here. Go easy on me. I only have the very basics of, of markers here. Somebody doesn't throw out a, a hat suggestion. That's okay. I'll just I'll come up with my own color. I can do that. Ooh, somebody said green. All right, I'm gonna do a green hat. Um, it's kind of like leprechaun like, right? That's okay. Maybe I'll make a leprechaun character. Who knows? I totally couldn't do the accent though. So, oh hi. What are you doing here, buddy? This is Ringo. He's really into all the workshops. All right, so I'm going to color in a green hat. No, oh, buddy. Please do not go up there. He's a big fan of puppets, as you can tell. Oh, I know. No, don't go up there. You're gonna have to get down if you're being rude. Um, all right, and just because I like some some fun, I'm just gonna add some, I don't know, some polka dots. I don't want this to be a leprechaun, so I need to, to get away from that, that look. All right. Look at his very stylish hat. That's good. I feel like the green is kind of reminding me of money or something. So maybe he's like a greedy character. I don't know. Um, we'll never know. Or maybe we will. Um, all right. So I'm going to draw the eyes on now, of course, because um, what puppet would be? I mean, I guess actually there's a lot of puppets without eyes, but I like eyes for this. Um, I'm just going to kind of, what kind of character do I want to do? I'm kind, of, I'm kind of giving him like angry eyebrows or angry eyes, I mean. All right, I've done that. That looks sufficiently annoyed, right? And then for this chin, um, hmm, I'm probably just gonna go, what's like that, that butt chin thing called? I don't remember what that's called, but I'm going to draw that. How do you draw that? Like that. There we go. So we have a little, a little cleft chin. Is that what it's called? I don't remember. Um, I'll figure it out later. All right. So we have that and I'm just kind of looking at it and I feel like, I feel like he's missing a nose. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a tiny nose really fast. Um, I think, I'm thinking he has a big round nose. All right. And I want him to have ruddy cheeks, so I'm gonna. This kind of looks like he's blushing, but whatever. All right, so now we have our our um, face head. I'm also going to draw a tiny bit of a lower lip too. All right, now we really have a base head. I'm done lying. Um, 
So I like this, this look now. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out my hot glue gun. It's time to get that ready and get your clothes pin. So um, you're going to see here that if you look closely, you have to try to line up the clothes pin exactly with the edge of the mouth. Like, so it's really easy to accidentally overlap or something. So while your glue is hot, you just kind of want to like position it until it's just right. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up. I'm going to apply the tiny, the teeny tiniest bit of hot glue to the very top of my clothes pin, right? Because it is a curved surface and you want it to be on the, the part that's closest to where, um, you know, the, the cardboard's going to be. And you're just going to place it on there. And what I'm doing is as it's still wet, I am positioning it so that the the line lines up with the bottom of the clothes pin. I'm just going to hold that there until it's done drying. All right, so now we have that part. You don't even really need a bottom jar, right? That kind of looks funny, like he's yelling at somebody. I don't know. Um, and now you're just going to do this, the same thing to the bottom. Put a teeny tiny bit of hot glue there. And you're just going to place that there again. And this time, let it close and just kind of make sure that lines up correctly again. There we go. Now we just have to hold that there and let it dry for a second. Let's see. There we go. Now we have our, our talking greedy puppet. I should have drawn dollar signs on the hat. That's what I should have done. Um, all right, so now we have that. And now it's time for clothing. Um, that's pretty much a very similar uh, similar thing that I just did with the head. Um, all you're gonna do is cut out the body, right? Um, this is also made out of the same cardboard and I ended up gluing it to the back of the, the head if you can, or to the bottom of the chin if you can see right there. Um, and then we went back and added clothes pins at the, or not clothes pins, um, pipe cleaners at the end. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Um, so I'm gonna get out my, my cardboard, it's back to cardboard time. Um, and I'm gonna lay it out. I'm gonna decide what kind of body I want him to have. Um, so you'll notice for this that I pretty much only, so my character, um, or my little puppet clothespin version of myself had on a skirt and um, a shirt because I do tend to wear dresses a lot if you haven't noticed. Um, so, but I cut it off right where um, the arms would show up. Show up. So you kind of want to cut, um, you know, where the where the limbs would, show, would start showing. I would recommend like short sleeves for this, just because I don't know. You don't want like only a little bit of hand showing. Um, but we'll see. So also, when you draw the body, you want to add just like a little bit of a tab for a neck, so it will stick to the the back of that. Uh, but we're gonna do that now. Imagining that he has a rather thick neck. Hmm. And again, if you guys don't have um, pipe cleaners, you can always just you know, draw out everything and cut it out. Um, I like pipe cleaners because like, I don't know, if you're doing a puppet show, maybe in between scenes, you could like switch up. Maybe like she's no longer skipping. Maybe she's walking now or maybe she's scared and I have to position that right. She comes out like, ah, wait, no, I have to open mouth for that. Ah, so that's kind of why I want to do pipe cleaners. It's up to you. Um, I'm gonna give him a nice round belly. He's gonna have a belt too. And some pants. All right. So I've gotten this, this little shape ready. Um, and now I'm gonna recommend coloring it on here um just because i don't know that's what i want to do 
Um, so, hmm, what should he be wearing? I do have like a, like, you know, like a very basic t-shirt um, and pants laid out. I probably would say he should be wearing a suit, but just because I want to have like long arms, I'm going to do that. I want to keep in line with the green because I like that. Um, maybe I'll have like a green tie or something. Hmm. Now's the time to think artistically. Okay, I'm gonna say he's on a gray, gray shirt. All right, so I'm coloring in this shirt now. Oh, he could have been wearing a Hawaiian shirt. Why did I not think of that sooner? I love Hawaiian shirts. They're so fun. All right, so while that dries, I'm going to color in the, the pants. I'm going to say, I don't know, here's brown pants. We'll do that. Maybe it's like cargo shorts. All right, so I've colored in the pants, and now this is what I have so far. I'm gonna do a big green belt. Say so like this green look we've got going on. There's the little belt buckle. I'm gonna outline that actually, just so you can see it clearly. All right, now I'm going to go back in and add a little green tie. So I feel like this character would, would wear a tie even with the most casual of outfits. I forgot what ties even look like. Here we go. Oh, yeah, it kind of looks like a little business attire or something. All right, so I have this going on, and I think I am fairly happy with it. Oh, somebody commented, green and purple are the classic bad guy color schemes. It's true, I could have done that. I feel like I'm making a very villainous character right now. All right, because you said that, I'm going to go in and add some. I'm going to add purple buttons. And maybe, like, stripes. You can barely even see that. That's okay. Um, just to get a little bit of, like, a classic villain vibe. Um... All right, so now I'm going to cut it out. So we're actually almost done here. Um, that's OK. You can stretch that out. Um, I'm going to add a little bit more of a neck because I want that because, you know, we're going to or some of that's going to go missing when we um, glue it to the head. So I'm going to cut that out. Gosh, I gave myself another hard thing to cut out. Also, Edwin, thank you for calling my cat beautiful. I appreciate it. I wish he'd stick around more, but he's got cat things to do, like take naps for 18 hours a day. You know, usual cat things. All right, I'm just cutting it out because I'm I'm not a speed cutter. I think that's why. Like, I'm so, I'm very detail-oriented in things that I do. And I have to, like, make sure it's perfect. So that's why it always takes me longer to cut things out. 
Um, I'm almost there. Just cutting out the little slit between the legs. There we go. All right, so now I have my little body. Um, before I stick this there, so you just kind of want to like place it on, see what that looks like. I think that's pretty funny, right? Uh, um, we're going to get out the pipe cleaners. So, all right, to go along with our green and purple color scheme, um, probably, let's do purple limbs, right? So that's like a little bit of an extra purple look. I'm getting out two, um, but no, I actually only used one, so I only need one. Um, that was my bad. I forgot what I did for a second. Um, so we're just going to cut that in half. So just You can eyeball it. It does not have to look perfect at all. There we go. We have half of a pipe cleaner. Um, and now is the time. Sorry, clear my station. Um, we're going to glue this to the back. So these are going to be the arms. Um, all I did on this one was I just put you know it straight across. Um, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to place, we're going to take our hot glue again. Hot glue time and put some on the back there and try to even it out again we can always go back in and um, fix it if it's not perfect like in length I mean I'm just gonna place that there and let it sit for a second purple arms I feel like we could have made good like monsters or something octopuses yeah you didn't have to make a human if you didn't want to um you can make anything with this as long as it you know has a mouth and wants to talk Ugh. hot glue strings everywhere now we're gonna take um this piece while that's drying and cut it in half yet again and then all i'm gonna do is add two little dots of hot glue on the back of the legs. I'm just going to stick those right on. There we go. All right, so we have this going on. Um, and you can kind of play with the proportions too. Like this kind of looks a little bit longer and lankier than what I like. So I'm probably going to go back in and trim it. Oh my gosh, there's so many hot glue strings everywhere. I don't know why, but I'm like the queen of hot glue strings. Um, maybe I'm using it wrong. All right. So get off. there we go. Um, I'm just gonna, I want them to have like short, stout little legs. So I'm going to go back in and trim that. That looks even to me. And then Trimming the arms just a bit too. There we go. So we have this. And now I can like pose them as I want. Just try to keep in mind that you want the um the pipe cleaner to be like in the center of where that that shirt sleeve is. Because you you know, if it like goes up really high or something, it'll look unnatural. Um so I'm gonna think about how I want the the initial pose to be right maybe he's like you know like big and mean he's gonna have a wider stance too all right so that that's what i've got going on for this um and now i'm just gonna take some hot glue apply it to there and i'm just gonna stick it to the back of my head there we go now we're gonna let that dry for a second. Hmm. I don't like the ruddy cheeks that I did. Oh well, you live and you learn. You can always remake it actually, it wouldn't take that long. All right, and now we have our completed puppet, yay! Um, just a few performance tips, because obviously the, the most noticeable thing um, that, that this puppet does is speak, right? Um, so kind of like depending on the character, um, Think about how it would speak. So maybe this character, as opposed to my other one, would speak a little bit slower, like, my name is Dr. M oh, I should have given him a monocle. That would have been that was that would have been funny. Um, Mr. Mustache. Uh, but maybe if like he was angry, he would be like, My name is Mr. Mustache. 
and you know kind of like forceful so think about just like how fast you want them to say the words um where you're kind of pointing them how fast or slow they move um it's kind of up to you now to perform but i hope you had fun today um I hope you join me for our workshop on Friday. We're going to be making really cute marionettes out of just toilet paper rolls. I know we we all have an abundance of toilet paper. Maybe we don't because, you know, it was not in stores for a while. But um, I hope you join me for that. It's going to be really fun. Bye, everyone.